जी हाँ आई सर्टनली हैड माई वाटर आई होप यू हैव हैड वाटर एंड वॉट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट जस्ट बिफोर हाफ टाइम इज जम्प स्टार्ट हाउ डू यू जम्प स्टार्ट योर बॉडी विच इज गॉन स्लगिश वी हैव फोर सीजन ऑल सीजन मेक अस फील इन अवर बॉडी फील इन अ डिफरेंट वे विंटर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट काइंड ऑफ स्लगिश टाइम वेन आवर बॉडीज गो इन टू अ स्लो मोड और यू पुट योर बॉडी इन टू अ स्लो मोड सो टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट मेक्स अस गेट अप एंड गो वी वर सेंग जस्ट बिफोर हाफ टाइम इज एक्सरसाइज एंड लेट आफ्टरनून एक्सरसाइज either walking or speed walking uh, it will give you more energy for the long evening that when the draw, uh, you know 5 4 30 pm the nights are uh, longer and the days are shorter you won't feel as bad and in the morning you'll certainly feel very good take my word for it clinic the number hai ga 07886880591 हेट लिखे स्क्रोल थे पिनिया देखते रहो एंड ऑब्वियसली लुकिंग एट ऑल दी अदर पिनिया इज ऑन सेल्स एट मनजीत शॉप डॉट को डॉट यू के टेलीफोन लाइन्स फोर अपॉइंटमेंट्स नॉट एट दिस क्लिनिक नॉट एट द शो टाइम एक्सट्रीमली नो 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 प्लीज प्लीज ट्यून इन कॉल इन फ्रॉम एट ए एम टू एट पी एम फ्रॉम अ मंडे टू सैटरडे बट नॉट लेटर दैन एट पी एम प्लीज डू रिस्पेक्ट दैट टाइम and even now while the show is going on there is absolutely no calls that will be answered so please ate himmat na karo is vele phone karan de kal nu badi khushi naal thoda call answer karange jo bhi thodi situation hai ki ya whatever appointments you want they'll be offered to you from tuesday onwards but not on the monday night show from uh, after really 8 pm do not call i'll be really grateful right moving on to you know what does exercise do to us what does yoga do what does uh, breathing exercises do what does uh, uh, you know going on the treadmill we are having a cellular detox a cellular detox where all the cells toxic waste is shifting and we are getting the lymph system to to help drainage and to help new cells to be formed and then why are people saying oh i don't have good red cells that's another thing that's sluggish spleen but the red cells are may, uh, you know uh, the b12 is made by the uh, colon and stored in the spleen so you know why is your b12 always running low why is your iron low because you're not absorbing those foods and your large colon is impacted with fecal matter which is kabaj a mother of all diseases will definitely not give you a jump start constipation is a chronic condition where maybe 75% people in the world end up having irritable bowel syndrome symptoms and constipation very badly misunderstood uh, and very badly misconstrued very badly sometimes assessed and treated and especially with punjabi people going in for all the hadra and bahede and the sena all these things actually then uh, disassociate the function of the large colon a muscle which is 16 inches long 5 foot long you have now tried to force this muscle uh, to be working with laxatives which is not the answer it needs to have its own peristylus movement irritable bowel syndrome cramping of the stomach the more toxic you are the more sluggish you will be the less jump start you will have so really we've tried to in this one show i'm trying to filter out information through every angle and for you to understand what i do in my clinic to ascertain and give you the best products whether it is skin whether it is eczema whether it is psoriasis whether it is blood pressure cholesterol diabetes stage 1 cancer i try not to tackle stage 3 or stage 4 cancers then looking at oh, all other clinical symptoms of alopecia autism dyslexia um ms me all these come under my naturopathy and my nutritional support so pointless thing is say do i treat that or do you cure the word cure should not be ever used because it's uh, sort of a shouldn't be stepped on because that's like stepping on toes it should be treatment when you treat a patient you have holistically cured them when you treat the symptoms and the hidden things that are manifesting you have cured them 
but don't use the word how long does it take you to cure you know chronic fatigue syndrome we haven't even started in the first sitting and before they have even been given the product they want an answer you have never done that with an allopathic doctor you certainly have had colitis or you're bleeding for the last 10 years 15 years you know but you haven't had answers from allopathic medicine so don't expect miracles but things do certainly happen they are all done in stages if something was so big bigger than the gullet to swallow that would be one big capsule that will sort you from head to toe impossible to swallow though so now let's look at you know uh, what are the foods the right foods uh, that should be eaten but why is it that uh, when a person is sluggish or they are in an unhappy mode or in a winter mode or uh, their jump start leads are backtracked they seem to start love a lot of starchy food you know all the starchy foods will come in comfort foods i would call them pastas stodgy cereals stodgy starchy potatoes bread rice uh, the beans obviously is a protein but all these stodgy foods are your comfort foods that constipated people like comfort foods constipated people love starchy foods they would not uh, have any saliva or good amount of uh, um, taste buds because there's so much fungus because they also got uh, you know conditions which could be leading on to bacterial infections or fungal infections that they think uh, the comfort food is giving them a, a nice cozy feeling it's another that you're not going to even open your bowel again the taste buds are so bad and they, so many taste buds are missing, tongues are cracked, that they will not have any desire to have alkaline foods. They want acid foods, they want starches, they want deep fried foods, and that gives them a happy f medium for a little time. Obviously, that doesn't help the colon. I do coffee enemas, we do liver flushing, we do gallstone uh, removal with the right program. Uh, you know skin detox uh, if you have any issues with heart lung anything in breathing dry cough mucus uh, all these things will be addressed uh, liver detox is so important because it's uh, we have done a program and liver is one of the biggest baskets of carrying vitamins and minerals but one of the biggest baskets and a charney for sieving out toxins so really eating a liver, for anybody eating liver, is not one of the best organ meats to eat. Walk, 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 obviously to get that feeling of good factor. Um, and what are the foods that would warm you rather than avoid, uh, you know, the teas and the coffees, um, avoiding the um, high caffeinated drinks those are the ones that are going to make you sluggish and give you your sugar blues go in for the chicory tea go in for the barley tea which is more comforting in warming you you can add in almond milk if you so wish but no sugar let me give you other winter vegetables which seem to be giving us comfort and uh, we seem to have what nature gives us is funny that uh, in winter root vegetables are more eaten and preferred because they some carbohydrates give us warmth they give us thermogenic insulation the vegetables that i'm going to know uh, for you to note down for tonight is organic carrots go for everything organic as much as possible organic parsnips baby not big swede turnips uh, not sprayed mulch so turnips in organic are fine purple turnips better than the white ones butternut squash amazing pumpkin really really good a lot of Punjabis think pumpkin is only used for Halloween day and uh, it is for getting rid of the ghosts so the ghosts don't come to your house so if we think that uh, some people in some communities are superstition superstitious then certainly the British were superstitious and using that pumpkin with a light getting rid of the seeds inside and Punjabis thought it was just for put there until they saw my cook show and realized oh my god this vegetable is so beautiful eaten in sabji or steamed or, or uh, pumpkin mash banake dekho pumpkin chips banake dekho 
so delicious pumpkin sabji with baniya amazing let's go on to one of the most amazing vegetables when we are in a back track and our body is not jump starting there is a reason uh, or many reasons that organs are sluggish but the kidney function and the failure to remove water but the failure to have good amount of at least four bottles of this a day is so important so that's over 2.5 liters of water is so important a day that your body will not drain of toxic waste if you're not drinking some people only have to open their bladder twice a day others will drink uh, all through the day but then have the bad tea and coffee and then say oh manu raat nu jaag aa jandi because you do not need a diuretic tea or coffee at night before bedtime try to have the bali and the chikri at that time so kidney and for kidney disease and water uh, retention and weight loss one of the greatest vegetables very unknown has got a root uh, taste and a different smell to other root vegetables is celeriac i have used celeriac in my cook shows and displayed what are the wonders of this celeriac vegetable make it into chip add it into the foods that i have done in the cook shows and it will give you amazing new taste a new vegetable in your life so celeriac is great for water retention celeriac is great for weight loss when the body gets sluggish and we are not producing as much uh, heat through the body and bad damp foods we are not circulating the lymphatic system the body will swell people on average in the winter will put on a quarter to half a stone one because of festive season foods and number two because their body is not draining what is the next thing that sells after new year's eve is gym and leisure centers people want a quick fix they think that whatever they've gained up to about 3 quarter stone to a stone for people grazing from october onwards right through november right through december eat as if there's no food going to be available in january and pile up all the bad calories with all the stodgy foods and all the hidden fats festive season is there and holiday seasons come in but we need to take care of ourselves obviously jump starting through dals moong dal so important it's a warmer sprouted would be equally good masoor dal which is the yellow dal so you know which are the yellow lentils and the orange lentils for some people who just know it by color but not the end product sprouting the dala through the sprouters that i sell are amazing if you've never sprouted a dal you've not had a high protein dal that will never give you gas a lot of children say ki i don't want to eat i come home and i cook because my mother's dal gives me wind i feel bloated and i get gassy because that dal is now become a sturdy starchy dal and behi dal will certainly make you gassy but a sprouted dal is so great and having a sprouter is the best live kitchen uh, you can garden you can have in your kitchen 365 days of the year rain shine snow that kitchen garden kitchen is so active the growing all the little lentils pulses and seeds in your sprouter i have only got four sprouters uh, for this year left on a special price call me on 07886880591 to purchase these sprouters will not be purchasing the next ship, uh, shipment till next year let's go on to a winter warming drink this is for people who are very cold or generally would be a, a half a teaspoon of uh, crushed uh, or um, grated ginger two grated cloves of garlic looking at cinnamon powder a little bit over a quarter teaspoon turmeric quarter teaspoon saffron the stigma of saffron a good pinch add in a quarter teaspoon of ghee one glass of water and maybe a quarter teaspoon or half teaspoon of manuka honey or half teaspoon i would prefer would be agave syrup but not honey your choice in that add in uh, three leaves of fresh mint finely chopped and about five leaves of chopped flat parsley 
The flat parsley has different properties to curly parsley. This is amazing. Makki di roti, if you're having in the winter, add in juan. Jinu apa kane yellow roti, children look at it as yellow roti. Must add fresh methi to make it fiery. The more mucus and gluten you have, the more resha and it's bunged up your system, your nose, and you are coughing, you got a wetly chest. All these things are because your foods were stodgy, starchy carbs that your body cannot get rid of those foods because you don't have the fire foods in the first place. Indian herbs are so great. Indian uh, 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 dala are so lovely other than Mahadi dal, the most stodgy dal. Avoid that right, white rice from head to toe, really a no-no. Go for the red rice and the brown rice. But going for the, this warmer is so good that, uh, you know, it will give you the warmth, but then you're not loading it up with tea and coffee and liver detox, I've told you, is so important. Liver detox, pinya lavo, liver support, pinya lavo. They are at 18 pounds a kg. Amazing products in there that you don't have to pop in pills and capsules. These are the most beautiful extracts that are put in there to support uh, in the whole combination of my pinya. Again, pinya can be purchased on 7 We keep putting the scroll, but people still are so, humble people are so confused. Where do we get the pinya? We don't know how to go on to line, but pinya can be purchased over that number, 7 so, you know, the more tablets and pills you have had, you have congested your coal, uh, liver. So liver detox is very important. Liver pinya very important. Really to jumpstart your life also, social circle. Very important to have a social circle away from friends, uh, family. That circle is different because you are seen as a different person. So going out, you know, to a, a, a social gathering, we need to be really blessed that our gurdwaras are open seven days a week within, uh, you know, uh, limited hours nowadays because Pallata Gurdwari Kundai Hundesige right from say 4 a.m. till about 11 a.m. for safety reasons, uh, 11 p.m. I beg your pardon. As I was coming here to do my show on a Sunday, sometimes we are doing chat shows, we see a church opening on a Sunday only. We are so beautifully blessed that we can be at the Gurdwara seven days a week and connect with the community and get ourselves away from depression. Get yourself, get that feel good factor. I do antidepressant products, I do sleep products, I do relaxant uh, drops that make you relax that even the biggest uh, dilemma at work, you will feel chilled and my own anti-stress uh, extracts are wonderful. Take the chill, take the ESR, take the ESA, take the night charge, take the day charge for day charge. It really gives you that buzz. And you'll wonder what kept you going. A simple one full pipette of day charge is enough to give you that uh, get up and go charge zone and don't have to use a jump lead. <laughs> Idealism is a disease. Being idle and just watching uh, television or a TV addict, not a addict, creating too much negative energy. So idealism manifests lots of diseases. Don't sit idle, knit, go and play cards, go into a club and play Sudoku. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with bingo. Go and do carom board playing. Play, to, play some games and board games at home. Anything to create, you'll feel so good. Why is it that only at Christmas board games are sold and then they're put away or forgotten? You know, try to play darts and connect and monopoly and totopoly that we did in our childhood. And it just gives you that massive boost of happiness. The jump that you've fallen back in is purely because you don't have good hormones in your brain and that you're depressed. So it's so important to be proactive uh, apni lifestyle they which and not manifest illness. Sometimes the illness is not much, but when we have a self-pity and when we feel that everybody around us should feel sorry for us, we seem to be then, uh, you know, dwelling on those thoughts only, saying uh, the family is not feeling sorry for you. Children grow up 
I'm telling parents, apna nadu katto bachyaan to. I'm telling the mothers, cut your birth, get the birth cord cut and have a life. Don't just sit back and say, you know, your children have left home and now they've got married. Close, you know, all the doors and start living in depression and neglect yourself, you know. Still have that dress up code, get up and go, you know, and connect with the outer circle, not just with your children. Disconnect. As long as your children are safe and well, disconnect a little bit and let them connect with you to check if you are okay. Then you'll feel so good that your children are caring. Because what you have done for them, it's time for them to return back to you. But don't just live in depression. There is more depression in the world than ever known and four out of ten children in junior schools are silently depressed. Sad world and a lot slip by for clinical depression in later life. Never knew that they had childhood depressions. So make your home a happy home. Be careful of what candles you burn or don't burn them. Be careful of what sprays you're spraying or don't spray them. Go clean, sleek. Do not use chemicals, so many chemicals in the house that we are using, that we are actually inhaling all this toxic buildup of a bomb gas that uh, we think we are putting the bleach and we're using that and we're using a lemon fragrance and we're using uh, so many products within the house that uh, we have to breathe them but can the body get rid of them within seconds when you do that nests will pick it up come back uh, pass from a person who's just smoked and he's dispersed his cigarette smoke in front of you you've passed you've been a passive smoker come and do the nest scan it'll pick up the smoke how clever. Obviously, being proactive in mind, very important. Uh, charity. If you're talking about charity in Sikhism, it ordains every other religion and every other Red Cross known to the earth, in the earth. You need to pause and bow to Pai Kanaya Ji, the Seva. Kijari Seva, Guru Sahib ne jang vich dekhi. Unne apne dushmana nuvi paani playa aur malam patti ki ti. That was the seva that is done. That is the seva that is instilled in our Sikhs. That is the seva that Sikhs go out to do, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in earthquake zones and uh, doing roti rolls and feeding. But there's still something that we are not telling enough about our Sikhism to other people who look at a goal pug as another religion or a Islamic state pug or turban. But, you know, we need to really endorse who we are, what we are doing. Because in this world, if we don't, then these chapters will be closed. So Pai Kanaya Ji had the most magnificent uh, thoughts that Guru Sahib Salaam, Ona Nevi Salaam Ki Taunu, and uh, he went so humble at his service, serving his enemies with water. That's humanity service. When you do any charity, humanity comes into you and we lower our head and we walk away from it saying God bless them and God bless me you but never boast about it because the moment you boast about it it's going to be zero rated so we need to salute Sikhism Sikh charities across the world and other charities who are now probably following our pattern and all the Sikh women who took such active part gurus have their time Jangandevich in the First World War, while their menfolk had left to fight the First and the Second World War, where Sikhs had absolutely no benefit to get to those wars or they were not fighting for land. But that's where Sikhs, that's how far Sikhs went out. So that, you know, uh, that bravery is instilled in our blood. That kirpa of seva is instilled in our blood. Bad foods, obviously, always touch on a little bit on bad foods. Look at the nasty, fizzy drinks, so, so much carbonated drinks. Do we really need to have these carbonated drinks? Pause to think, did you have any carbonated drink? This carbonated drink will not neutralize to become decarbonated. Gas will make more gas. Meth that will then become methane gas. Sugar, a load of sugar. Pause to think how much sugar you've had, folks. Look at my pinna. Look at the good concepts of those foods that is live, raw food on the go. It revitalizes you, rebounces you, it recharges you, 
everything that you're looking in healthy bars is instilled and impregnated in my pinna. Looking at the salts and reduce the intake of salts so we don't burden the kidneys, we don't burden our lymphatic system. We, as human beings, do not need more than a quarter teaspoon of pink salt a day. With minutes and seconds running down into this show, I'm in the last quarter minute of my show. I hope that somehow today I have instilled some good information to you, something about the pinna. Order them on 07-886-880591. Email ID manjeetkaur51 at yahoo.co.uk. Telephone lines open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. only Monday to Saturday. Clinics based in Ivor, in Birmingham, in Hull, in Bradford, in Glasgow, Edinburgh. That will be during the hotter seasons now in spring, but still going to Birmingham. Stay tuned into my next show. May I this evening say... Let's jumpstart our body back into a happy medium and don't jump track back to a low start because once you do, very hard to come back. To climb that ladder back again, you'll slip 10 times. I will slip back into this time back again, 9.40 p.m. next Monday. Myself, Manjeet Kaur, always at the Seva of a Kal channel and your, my lovely viewers and dedicated viewers of all globes and all walks of life. I need to say Namaskar, Asante Sana, thank you, Khuda Afiz, Saryanu, good night and Sat Sri Akal.